Winter is fast approaching and that means a lot of people are going to be heating their house with wood stoves and fireplaces and who doesn't want a nice hand forged fireplace poker? This would make a great Christmas gift idea and it's a fairly simple straightforward design. It has one little forge weld but that's kind of optional if you don't want to do it that way and we'll talk more about that at the end of the video. So let's get busy and get to work. For our poker, I'm starting with a piece of 3 8 round bar. That's about 10 millimeter round bar. And this is 38 inches long or roughly 970 millimeters long. And the first thing I want to do is draw out a graceful taper on the end. I'm not concerned about a specific length, but I want a nice smooth transition from the 3 8 bar down to almost a point, and I think that'll make our wrapped end look a little bit more graceful, be a little bit more pleasant to hold in the hand as well. I like to go ahead and draw out the end first and then work my way back to get the length of taper I want. That way I know this is what I want. Now we've already gone square, now I'm going to forge it to an octagon. And then we'll go round. It's twisting a little bit, but that doesn't matter. Now we'll go ahead and work this back. I think that's what I want there. Next we need to put a ring on there. And for that I'll just use this pipe jig here. And we can wrap that around there and we can get a nice round ring. Take that to there and then we're going to straighten this out. Now personally I think a torch is the best way to do this. You can heat just a small section, wrap it, get it good and tight. But since not everybody's got a torch, let's go ahead and do it in the forge. We'll just try to keep it under control as much as we possibly can. Try and take nice short heats here. You 
You can already see that's wrapping really wide and that would be avoided with a torch. Let's see if we can get enough leverage on this to suck it all around here. Yeah, that's gonna work. This is going to need some straightening. I think I wish I had left a lot more than that. I should have measured it, but I didn't. I'm guessing I had about eight to 10 inches of material there to work with. I think I would not mind three times as much here. So a good 30 inches would probably not hurt. You'd get to wrap this long and make a really nice handle. May do another one like that just to see how it works. I think I'm gonna put a little curl right here on this just to make it look a little bit more refined and make sure that little sharp point isn't someplace where somebody grab it with their hands. It doesn't feel like it would be, but you never know. So I'm gonna wrap that around a little bit and try to bring it kind of in line with this ring here. That's what I want. And for the pointed end, I think I'm going to draw a taper on here, fold this over, forge weld it, and then the forge weld will draw out into the actual point, and this taper will be the hook on the back so you can pull logs, so you can push or pull logs with it. This is a very simple form of a poker. This is a little bit of flux from Iron Mountain Flux. And we'll bring that up to welding heat. I think you put an eye in there, make some sort of a bird figure. That's really all you should have to do to that though. Put it in the vise so I don't take a chance on splitting the weld. I'm gonna 
start bending this hook out. Finish that at the anvil. Just rounding that up some. This is why my touch marks are not connected. Sometimes I put them on side by side. Well, that's it for a fairly simple fireplace poker, the ring handle with a wrap. It's comfortable to hold on to. Like I said, I'd be interested to see what it looks like with a whole lot more wraps, maybe bring it down into here but I think we'd end up with about 30 inches of material just to make the wrap, plus what we need for the poker. We might need more like 60 inches total to do that, and one of these days I'll give that a try and see what it looks like. This is very basic, very simple. There's no twists or chiseling, anything like that. You can certainly add that. Remember, you can't twist round bar and have it show up unless you do something to the round bar first flatten it out, square it up, something like that, then the twist will show. If you just twist around bar, you probably won't be able to tell you twisted it. Now, as far as this point goes, that's a very simple, very basic forge weld. It's a good forge weld if you're just learning to forge weld. And if it doesn't work, cut it off, try it again, make the poker just a little bit shorter, or just draw it out to a point, bend it over 90 degrees, and in reality, it's probably every bit as functional as this is, just doesn't look quite as elegant. But before I let you go, I've got a little bit of mail to open here. This is from Rockin' Mike's Forge in Iowa. Now you Star Trek fans will recognize this. Looks like Rockin' Mike sent us a little bat lift. I think it's actually a bottle opener. I'm pretty sure Mike is one of my Patreon patrons, and I sent him a bottle opener a while back as a thank you gift. And this says, I just wanted to say thank you for the bottle opener. I have it hanging on my fridge in my shop. So I came up with this idea for a bottle opener. It is a Batleth bottle opener. Pretty good guess on my part because I live in Riverside, Iowa, the future birthplace of Captain James T. Kirk. So all you Trekkies would have understood that. I'm not a big Trekkie, but I do understand it, and I did recognize it as a Batleth, so I'm at least that much of a Trekkie. I suppose now I need a Mr. Worf action figure to go with it. Yeah, probably not. Thank you, Mike. I really appreciate the gift. I think I'll probably put this in my office next to the computer, so if I want a beer while I'm editing videos, I'll use this. For everybody else, I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button. Feel free to stick around, watch a few of the other videos, share the videos with your friends. In the meantime, I hope you have time in your day to get out to your shop, make something, but stay safe, wear your safety glasses. We'll see you for the next one.